Hello everyone, George Counter. About 165 days ago, I did a video on why I purchased the Stepcraft M1000. Now it took about two months for the machine to arrive. It was, it was custom built for me. I bought all the high-end items, the tool changer, the vacuum bed. I even bought the rotary 3D device that I haven't even put on the machine yet because honestly, I don't know enough about CNCing yet to really take advantage of that additional tool. But as soon as I do, you're gonna get an update on it. Let's talk about the business aspect. 10,000 views on that video. I would say that there's probably 5,000 people in 165 days that were looking at this video wondering if they should buy a CNC machine. Well, I kind of felt the same way. And if I would known the volume of people that were looking at machines and how stable the industry was for these machines, I probably would have bought more quickly. So 10,000 views. Think about the number of people out there that are seriously going to spend any time, especially 10 minutes, watching somebody explain why they made the decision. In my follow-up videos, I've shared some of the problems that I have had. Today, we're going to talk about Z height. Now, X and Y, that's the length and width of your board. But the Z height, how far up and down the router will go, can be rather problematic. And really for two different reasons. Let me share those reasons with you. I'm going to use this $34 piece of Paduke that's about an inch and three quarters thick to show you the problem that you could run into when you buy your CNC machine and it's Z height depth, the maximum amount it'll go down. Now, if it'll only go down so far, it'll only rise so far also. Now, with the Stepcraft, you have multiple table height options. So this would not necessarily be a problem, but it requires that I modify my bed a little bit, or I make a little different adjustments so that my router bit will ride above this height. I can also take the entire bed system out and put this on top of something else and bolt it to that. So I'd have plenty of Z travel height, but some machines will not give you that option. So you need to consider the thickness of the material that you're going to cut and what the maximum rise is. Because sometimes some of the manufacturers I've noticed measure the distance between the base of their board without a spoil board to the top portion. And it's, it's right at about two, two and three quarter inches. By the time you get the bit, and a thick piece of wood on there, it may not necessarily work. Now, I think a lot of these machines, the hobbyist machines, are really designed for about three quarter inch wood. Now, this is where the second part of Z height access becomes a problem. Now, in Vetric, I wanted to carve something. I wanted to carve an eagle. I wanted to carve this door plaque which is just a little address plaque. I did this in poplar because I'm still experimenting with inexpensive wood. I'm not getting into my paduke, my hickories. I'm not playing with that stuff yet. I'm not good enough. Now, as I've told people before, I spend about one week close to my CNC and a week away from my CNC. So I've had it for about four months, but only had two months to really play with it. And then you have all the other problems in life that you got to take care of, clean the house take your girlfriend out to dinner, that type of thing. So I, I'm not been on this every day trying to figure this out. But this was a rough piece that started out at this thickness. Now I planed this down and um, I was not, I was actually going to plane through the board. Now that's entirely my fault. I had a problem with the shape height and the models that I was using and I misread. This is the corrected model. Now, you know, this to me, showing my, mis my mistakes and the problems that I've had may allow someone that's just got a machine to realize you're not much different than I am, if at all. Now you can see here, and I'll probably wave my hand across it, you can see my hand come through the light and you can see where the, uh, the bit penetrated, but it also did not. Now, this is the reason for it. 
I don't want to really tear up my spoil board that much. So I set the height at what I believe will just barely go through the board. Now this board was a little bit warped. I didn't put it through the planer first. Also on this piece, because I was at three quarters and I was trying to get more depth, I have a little flat spot here on my eagle. Now, most people, if they looked at this, they'd like it. And you know, my neighbors are like, can I have one of those? But to me, this isn't right. I really am taking an approach on this that this is my hobby. As a matter of fact, some of the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn my shop more into like a little bit of a man cave. I want this to be very comfortable for me to be in. Speaking of comfort, guess what I purchased? I bought the Viper Industries largest shop chair. They come in a couple of different versions and the one that I bought will give you the absolute most rise. <laughs> Fabulous quality chair, I'm sure that I'll have it for my entire life. The leather is very supple, the seat is very well cushioned, as is the back. It rolls around the garage like you can't believe. It doesn't take off by itself. Um, a little bit of slope in my garage, it doesn't, it doesn't move but it's very stable, I like it. I'd had an Amazon chair that I'd only had for a matter of an hour. I put it together and one of the casters actually split apart. It was a lot cheaper. Well, it was a lot cheaper. This one, I'm sure that I made a lifelong investment. I wanna talk about something. Have you ever noticed how when you go into a company where they've spent some money on making sure that there's a very nice working environment, they think more about their employees. It's more than just the money. They're not frugal. They understand that if their employee is happy and comfortable, their work product is going to be better. Well, that's one of the reasons that I bought that chair. I wanted to be as comfortable as possible. And in the coming weeks, I'm going to do some more projects in my garage to make this a little bit more comfortable. I have friends that come over, we'll walk out and get on the computer and maybe even put together a model of something that we'd like to make. Um, this is a, a very nice, very comfortable area of my house. Why not come out here and why not even make it better? I've got some more changes that I'm going to make in the future and I'd be really happy to share what I'm going to do. I've seen some pegboard designs, but I'm really more about hiding stuff than leaving it out. And uh, you can tell I kind of like colored lights. So LED strips, LED lights, let's, let's see what I end up with. I need a, a much brighter light over the top of the CNC machine when I'm actually working. Um, that's something that we'll probably do here in the very near future. If this is the first time that you've seen any of my CNC video series, you may not realize I leave my email down in the comments. If you have something that's slightly off topic and you'd like to ask me a question about it and you like my honest approach, by all means, send me an email. I had a woman ask me for some advice with Stepcraft machines and I told her to reach out to Eric over at Stepcraft and get the information. She says, well, I'm in Scotland. The, the reach for this community is really worldwide. If you've got a question and I can help you, I'd be more than happy to. I can give it to you from the perspective of somebody that is growing with the industry, not somebody that's an expert. Sometimes you don't want to ask a question to make yourself kind of look as though you're not that smart. I certainly have felt that way before myself. So when you, you seeing that somebody can make a mistake and just keep trudging, you can get this. Anybody can do it. It takes some time. I wouldn't start on the most expensive wood. I do have this $30 piece of Paduke. It is going to end up being something very similar to this. Also, I, I bought several hundred dollars worth of wood. I'm going to make some cutting boards. I've got more coming. If you got any questions, please reach out and ask me. I wish you the best. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.